Side for over 80 years so we know who's related to everybody we know who has kids every year and there's literally nothing like it in the entire you know world of primatology you can look at their social relationships and look at their naturalistic behaviors the hurricane had done a lot more damage than anyone had even expected Right after, a lot of people were asking um, what the condition of the monkeys were, and it was with great relief that we could say that they were almost all fine. I have no, <laughs> I have no lay theory about where the monkeys were during the hurricane. I don't know how they, <laughs> they made it, honestly. The sea literally pass all over the island. So you have all that salt water that came in. Kyle used to be lush and green and just filled with vegetation and the monkeys never had to worry. There was basically woods. Now all of them are dead. All the trees and branches are on the floor and we basically don't have trees. The sun can get really hot here and uh, shade helps them not get sunburned or get dehydrated. Before the hurricane, they just get all together in a big bunch of monkeys, grooming each other, interacting with each other. haven't been all together in one clump like before the hurricane. They still have interactions, but not a lot like before. It's typically the high-ranking individuals that get priority access. The alpha gets the first pick of the best shade while the lower ranking monkeys tend to get what's left. What we are seeing that's a little bit different is that because the shade is so limited, the high ranking individuals now might be hanging out a bit more with mid and low ranking individuals. We're looking at a whole cohort of babies born after Hurricane Maria to see whether development of their cognitive abilities is different from the um, baby monkeys that were born prior to the hurricane. We approach either brand new born babies that are still on their mom or nine month old infants born after the hurricane. And then we either show them photos or we present some sort of social cue for them. It can go one of two ways. They can have deficient cognition. The brain takes a lot of metabolic energy. It may be that like with the lack of resources, they haven't been able to develop the same abilities that previous babies have. You can imagine that if you have to constantly be thinking about who you can trust and who can help you in an unstable environment, that you would have to learn faster. In the next couple years, things might get more and more intense with climate change. We actually know very little about how animals respond to environmental stressors. 